Toto Katoa, no my Hari Mai Kite Walker on Dean. Welcome aboard our vessel on Dean. My name's Shani. And I'm Luke. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us today. As we share with you some of our plans and what we're hoping to do this weekend with the Fano. Yo, catch you soon. Um, so we are currently planning um, our first longish wee hidinger, um, first wee journey voyage from our home in Port Littleton around to Akaroa. Um, my parents live in Akaroa and uh, we are hoping to go up there and just sort of do a little bit of maintenance on the boat as well by tying off to the jetty as well. So just over 40 miles I think, 40 nautical miles. And, and so I'm sort of roughly estimating that will be about nine hours if we are travelling at five knots and we don't have to tack. So it might end up being longer and it might end up being more than um, the old 40 nautical miles, but that's the way sailing goes. But the, um, the challenge will be doing it with the kids for the first time, going further. We've, we've been as far as Pigeon Bay with the kids and that was okay. We had really good weather. The kids are at preschool and we just come here to set up. Um, Luke came yesterday and he just grabbed all the blankets and the things that just needed a wash. And yeah, so today we're just going to clean the boat up a little bit. Just uh, we need to stow things away and figure out where we want to leave things. Um, what we won't need too much of will stow away out of the way more and what we want to have access to better, uh, things that we're using often. We want to re-figure out how to stow things as well. We want to have the boat tied up to the jetty and when the tide goes out we want the boat to dry out a little bit so we can access things like um, the anode so we can replace the anode and clean up around the waterline. Things are a little bit messy and I want to bring the anti-fell a little bit higher on the waterline because last time I hauled out the waterline sort of was a bit low. Yeah, so what we're hoping for is a northeast uh, winds and that's the most comfortable for us. We just want to take things real uh, easy so that the kids love sailing now because if we just push them into really hard environments then they're not going to love sailing. So one of our goals is that every time we mention sailing to the kids that we're excited and you know we're excited for the new adventure so that they get excited we're not going to say anything negative about sailing in front of them and we're just going to fully commit to this is going to be the best trip ever so that's how we're going to survive i think one of the goals i have is to try and get um you on the helm more this trip so that um i can be below with the kids more so once we have the sail set and we're kind of on the tack we need to be on um the goal would be that you take the helm and you just keep us on course so that you're not getting seasick and I can be below with the kids a bit more. Yeah. Though I do get seasick too. Yeah. So, um, but I don't mind, you know, yeah. the wee vomit and then you're right. And we're hoping for heaps of dolphins and heaps of sea life so that the kids can be entertained. And quite often the kids will get quite lethargic when we sail. So we're just hoping that the kids really enjoy themselves and yeah we're also hoping to catch a couple of fish so we've got two kids Micah who is four and TMI who is two um I'll show you guys a photo of them and uh the most easygoing kids so we're really looking forward to our sailing adventure and we'll see you guys with us make sure you click that subscribe button so that you can journey with us on our sailing adventure join us for our next video as we uh, get on our hidinger from Whakaraupo Littleton Ki Akaroa um it's going to be a great adventure and uh, I'd love to bring you along and, you know, get amongst it. Yeah.
we don't have on, on Dean is a fridge or freezer. So normally we just will pack the chili bin and freeze heaps of pre meals if we're going for a couple of days. But yeah, if you guys have any tips on some meals and snacks and that kind of thing that we can do with the kids, please comment below on that because that would be really helpful for us.